Hello everybody, welcome to part two of the main menu user interface tutorial series. And today in this part I'm going to be showing you how to put sound into your user interface and customize it. So first off what we're going to do is go into our main menu level and in the place actors section we're going to search for an ambient sound, drop it and drag it in and get some music for, this is going to be the music that plays while you're in the main menu, so let's uh, drag and drop some music into there. So these are my sound effects I'm going to be using, I'm just going to drop them in. And make sure that they're WAV files, uh, Unreal Engine needs WAV files for the music. So now that that's done, I'll just minimize that. And as you can see, all of the music's in here, just going to save it. And the ambient sound actor, under sound, we are going to put, actually first what we want to do is go to the music for the main menu, and we want to have it looping so it plays constantly while you're in the main menu. Alright, and save that, close it. Now you can add it to the ambient sound actor. So I'm just going to put it there. I'm going to save it, and we're going to play, and you're going to hear it. Hopefully. Here we go. So there you go. There's the music playing. And now, we're going to add sound effects to the buttons. So, go into the graph. And... We're going to have to edit our blueprints a little bit from last time, so just select them and move them out a little bit so you get a bit of space. And out from this, you're going to want to do Play Sound 2D. And I'm going to do my click sound effect. So that's when I click it. And we're just going to have a little delay. Probably do it for half a second, however long your click sound effect is. I think mine's about half a second, so that's what I'm going to do. There we go. And my quit sound effect. No, we don't have a quit sound effect. We're just going to use the same one. So click. Play sound 2D. There we go. We're going to do the click and add a delay for the same amount of time. Compile it and save. So that's all you need to do for clicking it on the sound. You always want to have the delay before it does something because if we don't have that delay, it's just going to, once we click it, it's just going to automatically open up the level. You're not going to hear the sound effect. And if you do, it'll be for a very brief moment. So now, let's test it out, see if it works. So here we go, press start, there you go. And now we're going to have our hover sound effect, so when you hover over the buttons with the mouse, it's going to make a sound effect. So get these, so options, we're going to have on hovered, and place sound 2D. And we're going to do the hover. And now just do that for every single one of these buttons. Just take copy and paste them. Put it into here. And uh, there you go. That's pretty much all the sound. So music's playing in the background. When we hover it, it makes sound effects. When we click it, it's going to play that sound effect and open it or quit, so it quits. And then click it, plays the click sound, and it starts to level. And there you guys go. That's how you add sound to your user interface main menu. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in part three.